These fangs are just just straight up awesome. I literally use these every single day. I can't say enough. I love these so much. Yo, what's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. Today for you guys, I got another product unboxing slash review slash trying them out slash these are my new headphones. These are my new V-Moda headphones. For any of you guys that are new to the channel or haven't been on the channel a while, the headphones that I primarily use that I've used for the longest time are my custom V-Moda Crossfade LP2s. Those are custom, they were black, they have the sides. I'll put some pictures up real quick. Well, recently, one of the drivers finally ran out on the headphones. I've had them now for five years and I finally blew the right driver on the headphone. It's unfixable for the most part. But Vmoto does a pretty dope thing where basically if you send them back the headphones, they'll give you a discount on a new pair of headphones, basically to keep you in the product cycle, which is basically what I did. I sent them back, they were broken, and um, I decided to upgrade a little bit. So now I have for you guys right here, we're gonna do basically a little unboxing. Gonna do a quick little first test of them to see if they sound any different from the last few motors I had. And then I'm gonna be using them. Cool part about this one is this is the Crossfade 2 wireless. So these ones are basically the same thing as my LP2s, but they are wireless. So they have Bluetooth, they're battery powered. Which if you guys don't know, I don't have them with me, but I have a pair of Jaybird wireless headphones that I wear all the time. Those are my like go to the gym headphones do this do that so I'm really excited to see if um, these are gonna be useful for the wireless functionality not really like going to the gym but like just using them on the daily basis listening to music like I do here in the office when I'm here I have headphones on 90% of the time so anyway let's uh let's get to the unboxing no fanciness for this unboxing just gonna basically undo it undo this and I should be able to just pull it out they literally have indicators of where you cut with your scissors so crossfade LP twos or crossfade two wireless so you got all of your damn user manual bullcrap, um, a sticker. One cool thing about Vmoda, if you order from their website, you get a free pair of custom plates. Um, if you just get a plain one, there's all kinds of like precious metals and really expensive ones you can do. Actually, if you guys don't remember, I gave away a pair of LP2s. My, my Crossfade LP2s, I gave away a pair to a DJ on the channel. That was one of the giveaways. I can't remember how many subscribers. I think it was 10,000 or something. I did a custom pair of Vmodas. I gave them away. But it's free, so you can get a custom pair of headphones with the plates. I got the white ones here because I got the white crossfade this time. Really excited to do white instead of black. This is my new DJ Rick Webb logo, which you can kind of see down here on my jetpack. This is the old DJ Rick Webb logo. It's kind of more curvy and stuff. This is more boxy, more, I don't know, modern looking. Anyways, back to the unboxing. Pull the cover out. Oh, and this is one of the coolest features. So here they are. And if you'll notice right off the back, this case is really, really small. Let me get my old case. This is the Vmoda LP2 case. As you can see, substantially smaller in terms of the size. And that's because these actually fold up. These headphones fold up. So let's go ahead, open them up. I'm so excited to have these headphones. All right, so cool. They have the kind of like the charger tucked up here. I don't know if that pops out. No, it's just kind of like a little thing. So here's the, the charger for the headphones. Nice little distance to it. About a th four foot long charging cable. Regular USB, not USB type C. Kind of down about that. Pull this out. We got the headphone cable on the other side. I don't believe this is the long headphone cable. It might be. This one has the mic though built into it. Now this is just standard length headphone cable. All right, and then this is the cool part. So the headphones fold out. So you just pull them and they fold out. There's the quarter inch adapter they come with. All right, rip all this crap off. All right, all right. Oh yeah. So these are an over the ear headphone style, which I, I love. It's personally, that's my favorite. So this is the right side, this is the left side. You plug in the headphone jack cable. USB goes on the other side to charge them. Dope, dope. All right, so that right there is the headphones. That is the headphones in all their glory, straight out of the box. That's what they look like. You got the controls on this side right here. On the bottom, you have the headphone jack and the USB cable on the other side. The headphone jack is on the right side. Um, they are adjustable, so you can basically adjust these to whatever size you would like. And then the cups obviously swivel and everything like that. These are literally one of the most popular DJ headphones on the market, period. The Moto is very popular. That's the whole reason why I bought them. All my friends in college, all the DJ friends I had, literally every single one of them was rocking the Vmoto LP2s. And actually, a few of them have the new Crossfade 2 wireless ones. So I'm hyped to finally have the Crossfade 2 
wireless ones. What I'm gonna do is slap on my new custom plates. So I'm gonna do that right now. Basically, there are six little tiny Allen screws on every one of the plates. So you take the six off, you put your new plate on, and then you got yourself a custom pair of Emoto headphones, which is dope because everyone knows branding is everything. I mean, both of my DJ bags down here, this one, this one, my actual DJ laptop, boom, branding, DJ Rick Web. So I'm psyched now that both my DJ laptop has my new logo, my new jetpack bag down there has my new logo, and now my headphones have been updated, so everything is streamlined with the new DJ Rick Web logo. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new plates on. All right, so it's time for the initial test. So um, to turn them on into Bluetooth mode, first off, these are not noise canceling in any way, shape, or form. Basically, they are battery powered Bluetooth or wired headphones. There's no noise cancellation, nothing like that. Um, I do believe they have a microphone built into them somewhere, maybe, possibly. I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. So there's a built-in microphone inside of them as well as a microphone in the actual headphone jack cable as well. So you'll definitely get better mic quality with this than with this. Um, I wouldn't use these for conferencing though. They have like a little boom mic that you can plug in here that's a lot better for doing video calls. So let's uh, flip the switch into the on position. So there's a little blue indicator right here that's like blinking. I'm going to now try and connect to them with my Bluetooth real quick. So I believe they automatically, yep, so they're automatically right here. I'm gonna connect to them. I get a little pairing sound in here. So we are paired, click okay. There are three buttons on the side. The center button is your play, pause, next, uh, back. So your traditional controls, one tap is play, one tap, pause or double tap for next or triple tap for reverse. Also, if you happen to like be using these and you get a call, one tap to answer a call just like normal and then one tap at the end to end the call or you can hold it to reject the call basically. I'm gonna now play some music real quick and see what they sound like just with Bluetooth. Oh, Rockstar baby came up. First off, they sound just like my last pair of Vimoto headphones. Solid sound, sounds amazing. The bass, it, that's why I like these headphones. They have really, the bass is amplified to say the least, and they have really good bass output. You can definitely hear a lot more low notes than a lot of other headphones out there. But one thing I just noticed, when you're connected to the Bluetooth, when I'm playing Bluetooth music real quick, as soon as I plug in the headphone jack, they automatically turn off Bluetooth. So they go straight to headphone jack source. And then as soon as I pulled out the headphone jack, that plugs in right here for this, as soon as I plug it out it went right back to Bluetooth which was so cool like it instantly went back so that was a little bit of listening on just the uh, wireless portion of it I'm gonna now transition over here to my DJ setup and listen to some actual music for like a DJ scenario through the cable ribbon which I heard online sounds a lot better than through Bluetooth Bluetooth it sounds really good but like it's not like studio quality it's just like a really good pair of Bluetooth headphones like easily the same as like beats or my Jaybird sound pretty similar these have more bass though because they're like a over the ear they have bigger drivers so they can produce more bass but let's uh, go over to the DJ setup. let's see what they sound like one thing that's a little bit different for me is is on the previous version of Emotors, the headphone cable was on the left side. So now it's on the right side. So that's gonna trip me up a little bit because it's on this side now. It's just, just a different feel. My question though is if I turn these off, can I still hear it? Yes, I can. All right, so that's kind of cool. Basically, you don't need them to be on. They don't have to be on at all to use the headphone jack, which is self-explanatory, but that's um, pretty cool. So you don't need power at all. It's just an additional feature that they have battery powered to do Bluetooth um, in case you want to. So let's do a little DJing. Oh yeah. Hey, um, yeah, they sound literally just like my last pair of V-Mode headphones. Like, it literally sounds the same. The comfort level, I'm gonna be honest, these are a little more comfortable. I think it's due to these, the, the actual cups. The cups seem to be a little more plush than the previous model that I was used to, my LP2. So that is much welcome. They're a little more comfortable, a little more soft, a little more plush. But sound-wise, literally, I think they're the exact same drivers because these things sound absolutely identical to my last pair of Vimoto headphones. And they do sound better plugged into the headphone jack cable doing like a passive version than the um, Bluetooth version. So listening to them on Bluetooth, it sounds good, but this is like way better. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna comment down below and say, 
Rick, you just got a pair of headphones from Sennheiser. Yeah, they're actually right here. To do them justice, I'm gonna do a little head-to-head -head real quick here to see um, what they sound like in comparison between the two. So I'm gonna plug them both in real quick and give them a listen. Let's see what they sound like between the two of them here. First off, on-ear is comfortable, but in my opinion, I like over-the-ear. These block out a lot of noise, but these block out a lot more noise being over the ear. Um, when I'm talking, these definitely block out more noise than what um, these do right here. So let me give this a little listen real quick. Yep, that's... That, that literally spot on. These, don't get me wrong, these sound great. They sound amazing, they're awesome. I, I, I said it in my review of the Sennheisers. I like bass, I like a lot of bass. When I'm DJing, like we use subwoofers at every event I do for the most part. I'm a big bass fanatic, I have been since I was a kid. Um, and these right here, they amplify the bass. Like they're, these have way more bass. You can hear those low notes a lot better. And that's just my personal opinion. I like the sound of these because these things like you can hear that low bass that you hear in the subs that's why I, I like these a lot more that's why I got another pair also the customization feature like you can't beat that now this was a little impromptu comparison real quick but it's also not a fair comparison these crossfade twos right here wireless well one they're wireless so that's part of the reason why uh, I'm about to tell you this, but they are extremely expensive. These, are, I, I can't remember the price. I'll have Joe pop it up on the screen right now, but it's over $250, I'm pretty sure. Maybe $225, I can't remember how much I paid, but they're expensive. The original LP2s that I had were around $150. This pair of headphones right here is under 100 bucks. This is a lot cheaper and a lot more affordable for most DJs out there. But if you like the customization features, Vmoto, I highly recommend them. Like I said, I've been DJing with Vmoto headphones uh, since 2014. Yeah, since 2014, I've been DJing with Vmoto headphones. I believe that's when I bought them. Maybe it was 2015. But I've been DJing with them for a long time now. Tons of events on them. I'm super psyched. So I'm gonna basically use these for the next week or so. I got a wedding this weekend, so I get the break them in not to mention the new DJ booth if you guys have seen my new DJ booth it's got like the white with the wood grain features for the turntables so these are gonna look tight with the white setup because it's like it's icy icy and white just is clean white's clean and the Bluetooth is actually one dope reason why I wanted these headphones because like I said here in the office space right here basically I could be listening to Bluetooth like this with the headphone jack unplugged I could come over to the DJ setup real quick, plug in the thing, and just start DJing. So I don't have to take them off my head, that's dope. And it's just one pair of headphones versus having multiple pairs of headphones. So I'm excited to give these a nice real world test and basically I will get back to you guys to finish the video after about a week of using these headphones. Well, it has been absolutely way longer than a week since I made the first portion to this video. That portion was actually back in June. It is currently September. And the main reason for that is because we got busy. We started doing weddings again. It was awesome. But I do want to bring this video to its conclusion because I have been loving my new Vmoto uh, Crossfade 2 wireless headphones. These things are just just straight up awesome. I literally use these every single day. I can't say enough, I love these so much. Literally every single day, I'm walking around these doing Bluetooth. I can easily switch between listening to music on my phone, listening to whatever I'm working with on my desktop over here, prepping music on my DJ laptop right here for a wedding. And as you guys know, right here in the studio, we have like the live streaming setup over here with the SZ. And it's been really cool to just Bluetooth to this, uh, my DJ laptop to prep music, to find new music to download so I can listen to it in a nice, HD quality and then I just plug in the uh, aux cable and start DJing over there on the SZ. This thing just it works really well works seamlessly. From the get-go I didn't know how well I would like the DJ Rick Webb uh, kind of very subtle logos on these headphones but I love it because it's really really subtle and at weddings you're not really trying to be flashy although my laptop kind of uh, it's pretty flashy. I am actually gonna have my laptop redone because I, I don't know how well I'm liking this. It's a little bit too flashy for me. So I'm gonna do something a little more subtle, um, maybe white on silver or something like that. But I actually love how subtle that is. It's really clean, it really looks awesome. And uh, personally, I really like the switch up going to the white headphones at weddings 
versus the black. These look really cool in photos. I mean, that's something you guys really don't care about, but uh, I like how they look in photos. I use these every single day, like I said, and the sound quality is superb, and I love the bass output. I can't say it enough. The, the cushions are really comfortable. I have no problem leaving these things on my heads for hours on end. I could literally have these on for like two, three hours while doing work, listening to music, and uh, I have no pain, no strain on my ears. Nothing but positive uh, things to say about these, and this feature right here alone, just this so, it's so, so much fun to just go like this and hold these up. I don't know. One thing I thought about, it would've been cool if this was the on and off feature for the Bluetooth. I mean, although we use these as DJ headphones so we don't need the Bluetooth on, but I was like, how cool would it be if it recognized, if it was on, if I went like this, that it just shut it off. I thought that'd be a cool little trick. But anyways, guys, just wanted to wrap up the video right here. Uh, I really, really love these headphones. Like I've told you guys before, my last pair of headphones were V-Moto. I've had them for many years. They've done me solid and the Crossfade 2, wireless these ones right here adding the wireless bluetooth feature made these things so much better because i'm always listening to these same headphones whether it's djing at an event listening to music around the office uh editing videos getting stuff done these headphones are awesome and i i can't recommend them enough i mean they are really pricey they're not the cheapest headphones on the market but for the customization how cool these look and how good they sound and the comfort 100 percent worth it in my opinion but anyways guys if you like this video be sure to give a big thumbs up or if you didn't hit the dislike button it helps me either way and because i don't know how many of you guys actually make it to the end of these videos if you if you're watching this video right now and you're you're at the end of the video right now leave down in the comment section down below uh you can say something but put hashtag squad for all you guys that have watched the video all the way through, put hashtag squad at the bottom. And um, like always guys, oh, hit the subscribe button, post notifications, turn on post notifications so that way you get notified all that bull crap. Anyways guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep the, DJ Rick Webb, I, I, my English is terrible. It's been getting worse and worse. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's the Southern, it's the Southern. The Southern's getting to me. It's screwing up my Northern accent.